Morning everybody, it's David with davidspassage.com and today we're taking a look at one of my favorite trail nibble wild edibles, sassafras. Stick around. So I'm just out here today doing a little bit of squirrel hunting actually and um, just off the trail there's a I'm standing underneath a really you know fairly big size uh, sassafras tree. Sassafras trees are really cool because they can grow to be hundreds of years old. One interesting tidbit about sassafras was a derivative of the bark was used to make the original root beer. So old time root beer um, from what I understand used to taste better because it came from the sassafras tree. It doesn't come from sassafras trees anymore because sometime in I think the 50s or 60s they did a study where they force fed lab rats the chemical saffron which is you can guess where the name comes from and they developed cancer so it was put on a list of carcinogens and so they ruined root beer forever <laughs> so let's talk about how to identify it super simple super simple on every sassafras tree you're gonna have three kinds of leaves and actually what I have here is a twig with the three variations of the leaves on them it's the only tree that's like this first of all you're looking for smooth margins on those leaves on all three types of leaves okay then you're looking for three different types of leaves you're looking ones that are just kind of oblong like this okay then you're looking for ones that have you know are in the shape of a mitten you can see that mitten there okay then you're looking for ones that are in the shape of a double mitten or actually I think of this more looks more like a dinosaur footprint to be honest with you so that's one that's one characteristic you know you're looking for those types of leaves three types of leaves will always grow on the same sassafras tree the other thing you're looking for the leaves when you break them apart and crush them up a very very aromatic and whenever i show students this leaf and i have them crush it up and smell it the first thing it always reminds them of is the smell of fruit loops i don't know why they smell like fruit loops but if you crush a sassafras leaf up and smell it you're going to smell fruit loops so that's really how you're looking to identify it with those three types of leaves and that very aromatic distinctive smell. There's no other trees in, Amer in North America at least that are like that except for uh, the mulberry tree but the big difference with the mulberry tree is that the margins of the leaves are serrated so um, huge difference there. So let's talk about how you can enjoy them. First of all you can even on the trail you can eat the leaves um very aromatic you know they're they're pretty decent i mean i wouldn't make a meal of them but um you know add them to a salad or something like that you'd be fine you can dry the leaves and make a tea out of it you can make a fresh tea out of the leaves as well just take fresh leaves and steep it to make a tea um, out of those again you can dry the leaves powderize them and use them in like gumbo soup thickeners um, that sort of thing. There's one more way that you can enjoy it if you're on the trail and you just want something quick and a, kind of a quick fix or a nibble or just something kind of unique to share. Underneath the uh, sassafras tree you're gonna get all kinds of little bitty sassafras trees that are growing and what I like to do is just take one of the roots up like this and this is how you get root beer. Take the uh, the spine of my knife and just sort of scrape off all that dirt And you get a white root. Now what I like to do is just take that white root, just using my multi-tool, I'll just cut this off. And if you, if you smell the white root, it, it, uh, it, my wife thinks it reminds her of those root beer barrel candies, and it smells like root beer. What I like to do is just take it and chew it, and uh, just kind of keep it in my mouth, and just kind of nibble on it. And it kind of reminds me of that, that root beer barrel taste. It's got a pretty pleasant flavor for something you just pick off off the trail. Very unique. Um, it smells like root beer. Doesn't taste quite like root beer because it's not sugarized. You can actually take this root um, or a couple of them and steep it in a tea to, and sweeten it up and kind of start your way on the original root beer. So that's actually my wife's favorite way of enjoying these because they just taste good. I don't know. It's got a really good flavor to it. Kind of a breath freshener, very strong root beer type smell, good stuff. So that's sassafras, be looking out for that on the trail this season. Again, I just want to say it is listed as a carcinogen, so do your own research before you do any kind of consumption. 
just a great wild edible to know about. And I'll put a link in the description or maybe a couple links in the description to some good articles that you can check out to read more about it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. It helps out the channel as well as commenting below. I would especially like to hear if you've ever used it in a recipe or especially if you do any sort of Creole cooking, if you've ever used that boy. And I can't remember the name of what that stuff's called where they dry the leaves and make it into a spice. If you know that, leave a comment below for that too. If you haven't already done so, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and we'll see you in the next video or uh, we'll see you outdoors. Take care.